Hello everyone, this is the second video of the Fluid Simulator series. In this video, I'll explain how to use these presets as assets and how you can add uh, them in your project file. So let's get start. You will get these zip files when you download these uh, from Blender Market or from my Gumroad page. So let's first uh, extract this here. So if we go inside this folder, it contains these files, a uh, Blender asset file, Blend file, Note and uh, documentation so to use this as asset basically we have to define this as asset library so now let's go to uh, blender in blender first go to edit and then preference in the preference then go to the file path and in this you have this asset library here you have to define the path for that folder so press this plus button and then navigate this folder select this and then add asset library now it is added as asset library so let's save the preference now if you go to the asset browser you have this new category that is the case tools and in this you have this fluid simulator and this is the grid curve fluid simulator so you have two options you can use this as modifier or you can use this as object so let's first directly drag this object into the scene. It's going to bring this object. It is based on the this Bezier curve. Let me select this object. Uh, we have this modifier. You can basically uh, switch between the grid and the curve. And if I open the geometry node, you will find the nodes related to this modifier. This is the node setup. It contains the force nodes, uh, fluid simulator nodes, and particle add vector node so let's go to the material preview and if you play this it's going to run the fluid simulation on this fluid simulator object now suppose you want to use this as modifier so let's undo this we have this uh, clear scene now let's add a plane then we're going to drag this modifier onto this plane it's going to add that fluid simulator modifier onto this plane and going to convert that into the object based on this Bezier curve or you can switch to the grid okay here you can basically define path or the curve object for the grid if you want the grid based on the curve or you can use the grid option okay and this is the node setup fluid simulator for grid curve modifier okay now we're going to add uh, the fluid simulator for mesh so let's open a new file so we have this new file again we have to extract this zip file and uh, let's extract this we have this folder it contains these files which are similar to the previous one so now we have to define the path for this as asset library so go to the blender then go to this edit then preference and in the preference go to file path and here you will get this asset library option and here we're going to define the path for this folder so now it is added so let's save the preference now again if we open the asset browser go to ks tool then fluid simulator now we have this new option which is the fluid simulator for mesh and you can drag a object fluid simulator object into the scene okay it's going to basically run the fluid simulation on to this object or you can also add this as modifier so let's add a plane then we have to subdivide this plane so if we drag this onto the plane it's going to add the fluid simulator for mesh modifier onto this plane so let's view the geometry nodes for this we have this modifier and if i press home we have this node setup uh, for this modifier now let's uh, play the animation see it feels like it is slightly broken the reason for this is uh, we haven't defined the boundary for this plane because this fluid simulator require a boundary uh, for this open mesh so you can easily define the boundary for this so select this plane go to the edit mode select the outer edges so we have these edges now go to the data tab 
and here we have this attribute option let's uh, define a new attribute let's call this boundary and change this to edge domain and we want this to be a boolean okay and then go to the mesh then set attribute and we going to enable this so now we have this information about the boundary let's go to the object mode and we have the same name boundary and also it is same name defined here so if i go refresh this animation see it is working perfectly fine uh, this is it in the next video i'll explain the settings of these fluid simulators and how to use these nodes see you in the next video happy noding bye